today I am showing you guys exactly how to start keto, the exact recipes if you guys want to know how to get started. everyone and welcome back to my channel here we are again today with another video today's video is very exciting because this is the official launch of my ketogenic meal plan I did develop this ketogenic meal plan entirely by myself and it is the exact way that I lost weight if you guys are new to my channel I lost a total of 130 pounds by doing keto intermittent fasting and exercising in a fasted state and in addition to that I did lose hundred pounds in only four months on the ketogenic diet so today I am showing you guys exactly how to start keto the exact recipes if you guys want to know how to get started the keto diet is made out of high unsaturated fat slash saturated fat moderate protein and 5% carbs 75% of your daily caloric intake is going to be coming from things that have natural oils such as any type of avocado oil or coconut oil or any type of dairy product excluding milk 20% of your daily caloric intake is going to be coming from any type of protein, so particularly any type of meat, and 5% of your daily caloric intake is going to be coming from non-starchy vegetables. And when I was on my weight loss journey, I did pair it with intermittent fasting, so usually you could combine it with the 16 to 8 intermittent fasting method, which is where you eat from the hours of 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., but you could also restrict this even more if you do want to exercise expedite your weight loss results. While I was losing weight, I did follow OMAD or AKA one meal a day. But of course this is for beginners who are interested in just easing into the ketogenic diet. The reason why you would go on an egg fast is to get your body in a ketogenic state. The reason why eggs can be super beneficial on the ketogenic diet is because of the macros and the ratios that it has naturally. So naturally eggs don't have any carbs in them. They do have high saturated fat in them and they do have moderate protein so it's a very quick and easy way to put your body in a state of ketosis in a healthy manner the way that you properly follow an egg fast is by eating six eggs every single day you can prepare them how you would like to but you can put cheese in them and you can put about two tablespoons of butter and of course any type of salt and your body will most likely instantly get into a ketogenic state Usually before I cook anything and everything on the ketogenic diet, I usually use some type of spray, either coconut oil or avocado oil. And then I'm just taking some regular eggs and I'm going to be cracking six eggs in a bowl. Usually when I was on the ketogenic diet, I did like my eggs scrambled. That's usually how I prepare them, but you can prepare them in any way you would like to. So the purpose of following an egg fast is just to get your body into a state of ketosis. Eggs are nutritional and they don't have any sugar or any carbs in them. So this was the way that I did start the ketogenic diet and I would recommend it. A lot of people have comments or concerns about knowing when to get into ketosis. An egg fast will ensure that you will be in a ketogenic state and it'll make your weight loss journey easier. You can put any type of cheese with inside of your eggs. It really doesn't matter. And then on top of that, each egg should have about an ounce of cheese. So in total, you would be eating about six ounces of cheese within an egg fast and you can eat it all at once. You can put any type of seasoning in it as well. And then on top of that, since you are going to be intermittent fasting, you can either eat it all at once and follow OMAD 
or one meal a day or you can spread it out do two eggs at a time or something like that and follow the 16 to 8 intermittent fasting method and this is the way that i usually start my ketogenic journey I also paired it with some regular black coffee. Usually on egg fast, you don't use any cream. When you are following the ketogenic diet, you would usually have your choice of saturated or unsaturated fat. So that would either be butter or any type of dairy product, excluding milk, along with any type of oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. And then on top of that, you would have your choice of non-starchy vegetable. There is no sugar on this diet. And of course you are staying away from carbs. On the ketogenic diet, you're net carbs for the day is going to be about 50 so anything over 50 will break the rules of the ketogenic diet and now I am going to get into the exact meals that you can follow while you are trying to go on the ketogenic diet so when you are following the ketogenic diet, you are supposed to intermittent fast along with that. And there are certain things that don't break a fast. And one major thing that does not break a fast is any type of water product. So having coffee is perfectly fine on the ketogenic diet. You are allowed to make bulletproof coffee, which is basically coffee with butter inside of it to take the acidity away since you aren't eating any sugar on keto, but I do not recommend this because it does add up your calories very quickly. So I usually just use some type of non-dairy half and half to go ahead and flavor my coffee. And then I am just going to be making a simple steak dinner and then a chicken dinner along with that and show you guys exactly how to make keto meals.
And this is the final ketogenic meal. If you guys are interested in exact keto meals and recipes, go ahead and check out my seven day meal plan on my website. It'll have everything you need for starting the ketogenic diet. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one.